Let's talk about the Alchemist Kitchen. This is a relatively old book. Not ancient, just old. The Alchemist Kitchen. Small book, not very thick. i show you how thin it is. It could be read in about uh, half an hour, 20 minutes. And to uh, sort of clue you in, one of the feminists, I've forgotten who at this particular time, said that chemistry, modern chemistry, is really just a variation on the kitchen. Female's work, woman's work in the kitchen. But then consider where the information came from, from a feminist. But this is a medieval alchemist laboratory, pictures of, same. And while they're making the philosopher's stone, they're probably cooking up dinner, stew, at the same time. It's a holiday season. It's a book on magic and the occult. Magic and the occult. At the solstice and the New Year's. The History of Magic and the Occult. And the reason why I wanted to show you that book was this greeting card for this time of year. Some people might think that's Father Christmas or Santa Claus. But it could be Odin. Or Woden, the Norse god, but this picture has the being in the center with two eyes, and the legend is that Odin lost an eye so he could get wisdom. That's the legend. But also, the modern legend is. Fill the world with the magic of believing. Fill the world with the magic of believing. And what should you believe in? Your belief should be transcendent. Beyond the physical. See that? That's my greeting to you for this holiday season. That is my greeting to you folks for the holiday season.